It was on July the 3rd, 2019, that we first met the founders of Foundation Forward, Vance and Mary Jo Patterson. It was here in historic downtown Lenore. It was the dedication ceremony for the Charters of Freedom. It certainly was a fortuitous encounter, and many more would ensue. And now we're happy to share a special moment with Vance and Mary Jo in Valdez, North Carolina, which is the national headquarters for Foundation Forward. It started out as an experience that Mary Jo and I had up in Washington, D.C. And it was a very emotional experience the first time we saw the, the original documents, the original founding documents of our country, the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. But since then, it has matured more into an education experience and not just education about the documents, but uh, some of the supporting documents that go around them. It's expanded into community and access to these documents in a proper setting. So it, it's just gone in a lot of different directions and they're all coordinated and exciting and we, we just don't seem to have enough time to get everything done. <laughs> I think what's interesting to me, and, and now we visited many different uh, setting uh, dedications, is the conversations that I hear people having about the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the fact that they had never had that experience. They hadn't had the opportunity to go to Washington. And your foundation now is an education foundation, but you're literally bringing this experience permanently to people's communities. Yeah, so often when we talk about what we're doing, they're, they're surprised to know that the settings that we're building, the replicas of what you'll see in the rotunda of the National Archives, that these replicas are built to last 300 to 500 years in a community, that they aren't just going to see them. Uh, it's going to be their, their, their children, grandchildren, future generations. And if they're there for the dedication, then their future generations are going to know they were there. And it, it's a pretty exciting event, these dedications. So you've been doing the dedications around the Carolinas with a goal that I understand to at one day have a setting in every county in North and South Carolina. Yeah, that's our uh, short-term goal, actually, is there's 100 counties in North Carolina, 46 counties in South Carolina, to do all those communities so the people around the country are saying, what is going on in the Carolinas? So Vance, here today in Valdez, you're actually dedicating a part. So it's different than what you've been doing. Talk about what's happening here today. Well, when we bought the building, uh, the one in the background is our national headquarters. About five years ago, we had two extra lots, and this was one of them right next door. And we didn't know what to do with it. We talked about building a setting here, and then it expanded into the idea of building something more than that. And it's, it's turned into what we call an education park. And it's the first of its kind, featuring the history of the Revolution War on the right side, uh, as the battles took place in the north and then shifted to the south. On the left side, as you come in the park, will be an education experience in government, in the federal, state, local, and, um, and city governments, explaining how they work. And then in the back of the park is the, uh, uh, a tribute to our six armed service branches. So Vance, you've been doing this long enough now to have had ex experiences with a lot of educators talking to them, talking to their students. Share some of those memorable moments that have let you know, hey, we're on the right track. I'll go back to the first setting we did uh, back in 2014 in Burke County on the old Courthouse Green. We were putting this in and this skateboarder came by while we were doing the construction. Long hair, skateboard, and he says, what are you all doing? You know, and I said, well, we're, we're building a Charters of Freedom. I said, that's your Declaration of Independence, your Constitution, and your Bill of Rights. And you could see his shoulders go back and he said, cool. And he walked on. What's that going to be like for you? What do you imagine that you and Mary Jo will be <clears throat> talking about when that 100th in North Carolina, the 46th in South Carolina is complete? Well, that's a goal. It's not a, it's not a finish line. Uh, this, this should be an ongoing project really for the, for the duration of the country because more than just setting the settings in place, uh, it's about education. It's about teachers bringing their third, fourth, and fifth grade classes down here for annual field trips to, to learn about the documents and a little about our founding fathers. And that's not going to end. The ones that are coming down now, they'll be bringing their grandkids down 
and their grandkids. So that's why we say it's built to last the 300 and 500 years. Tell us about your vision for the future, for the next 10 years. What do you imagine will happen? We're going to expand the organization. Uh, we're doing a lot to work with fundraising, not so much to help build settings because we can do that. We just need more qualified people to build these settings and, and get them dedicated. Is it going to happen? It's happening now, yes. So Vance, for people who are watching now, a lot of people will be seeing our conversation. If they've never heard of Foundation Forward before, if they've never visited one of the settings, and they have an interest to, to do this in their community, what should they do? The easiest way is to contact us on our website at yourchartersoffreedom.com. They can call us here in Valdez, North Carolina. We've got a great staff that uh, will work them through the process, set up site visitations and that type of thing. Anybody that's involved in it, it's a lot of fun and they take a lot of pride in, in what they've accomplished. From the first time I met Vance and Mary Jo Patterson, I was impressed with their noble goal. When you consider the objective is to place a Charters of Freedom in every county in North and South Carolina and in the nation, well that's nothing less than a Herculean task. After spending much time with Foundation Forward staff and volunteers across the country, we believe that over time we will all be very impressed with what good people do when they come together for a worthwhile cause. And there will certainly be more to come on this exciting adventure.